Buenos días, campeones. Buenos días, campeones. Buenos días, campeones. Welcome to our show. Oh, buenos días, campeones. Buenos días, campeones. Buenos días, campeones. Welcome to our show. Buenos días, campeones. Buenos días. Buenos días, Mr. Hunziker. Buenos días, todos estudiantes. Oh, nice. How's it going, man? I'm doing all right. How are you guys? Pretty good. Pretty good. We were uh, we were talking a little while ago, but I, I think people at home might be interested to know: Are you just are you just buried every day with technology questions? And like, what's a? Will you tell us like what's a big day? Like this was a lot of requests or questions. Um, it was last Thursday when we had put in some some new guidance and everybody's Google Forms for attendance broke. Uh, that was a big day because that was last Wednesday. Um, and that was uh, lots and lots of emails. And then it was one word on a uh, program we had put in that blocked everything. So I took that one word out on Thursday and everything seemed to work fine. Um, but usually I check emails and get email updates throughout the day um, on various questions and uh, problems and then on usually Tuesdays I'm in for the tech time Tuesday mornings uh, to, to help with those and we have a Thursday evening tech times but I'm, I'm usually not for, not there at those but um yeah so just uh, trying to answer questions problem solve and help out how, however I can and those uh, tech times are those will you tell more about that All right so there's a Google sign up or sorry a Sign up genius that's on the school website that has sign up times for Tuesday and Thursdays. Uh, Tuesday morning it is eight, sorry, seven thirty to eight thirty, and Thursday afternoon it is four thirty to five thirty. And you sign up for uh, if there's a problem with your computer that I couldn't resolve remotely, and there's a separate form uh, that's like if you have problems at home, if you, if you submit something on the form, uh, and I'll email you back on password changes or other issues that people have had. And then if uh, it's a problem we can't solve remotely, um, then you can sign up for tech time. We'll swap computers out or uh, do a hands-on repair if it's one of the times I'm there or just try to figure out how we can uh, help families. We, we still have a couple kids who uh, didn't get their computers. I think there was, there was one last week who needed to pick up her computer for the first time uh, who came last Thursday. So um, those tech times are trying to just solve all the problems that may arise as the weeks yeah, you know, the, the week that happens in progress and difficulties. Yeah, sure. Cool. What are uh, doing anything else? Have you done anything else for fun lately? Um, working on my garden. Uh, I have some tomatoes. I have some strawberries. I have some uh, lettuce and some squash that I've planted. Um, and then uh, walking with the kids, uh, you know, playing in the yard, trying to avoid our neighborhood bear. Because we have oh. a, a very large male bear, and then one of the neighbors posted a picture of a female bear with four cubs uh, two days ago. So uh, trying oh, wow. to avoid the neighborhood bears while getting outside as much as I can. Four cubs. Yeah, we got that going on too. <laughs> yeah. uh, usually, our dogs freak out when someone walks their dogs past our house. So I went out expecting to just usher them inside uh, to find a large bear whose back was easily up past my belly button. Uh, running through our driveway. Yeah, <laughs> that was fun. It's always something fun to walk out to a bear that could, yeah. You know, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, uh, we have uh, I have strawberries and they're already flowering and, and starting to bud. Strawberries. Mm -hmm. Cool thing about strawberries is how they they just reproduce themselves. Like they just shoot off a little. Once you got a couple planted, then you got as many as you want. It seems. It seems. Yeah, I have, I think I have three uh, bl blossoms on my one plant and I'm going to, yeah, I, I, I bought two and I'm going to, yeah, they're right now they're container plants, but I think after the season I'll, I'll transplant them and hopefully the bear won't eat those and they'll continue to grow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, friends. Does anybody have a ukulele hat nearby?
I, uh, just a reminder to folks at home, uh, our school now has, I think, a video of me where I teach you how to play our morning mission song on the ukulele. Uh, it's on our YouTube. So uh, if you're wanting to learn how to play it, uh, you can do that. So here we go. I know a place where I can be great. I can build a better me. Every single day I'd invest we imagine, we nurture, we value, we engage, sustain and transform as we champion opportunities in leadership and learning, embracing greatness, inspiring achievement, all within a telescopic environment. In less collegiate, imagine. <laughs> all right all right mr hunsaker we've got a fabulous game prepared for you today we're calling it not my name okay so we have because a... you are mr hunsaker but what do you know about honeysuckles <laughs> it's i've been called that before <laughs> <laughs> i figured you might have so we're going to give you a series of questions that all relate in some way to honeysuckle. Uh, okay. And in some cases, specifically uh, Japanese honeysuckle, which are, uh, are, are heavy duty, our big research department did all kinds of work and uh, pulled up some questions about honeysuckles. So. Okay. They've been asking for a raise lately and man, they're <laughs> trying to prove their worth. So. All right, Mr. Higgins, do you have the first question? <clears throat> I would love to. Oh, All just, right. So uh, one, one last thing real quick, just a reminder. If you need a lifeline, you can ask either myself or Mr. Higgins to, we'll go in the other room and we'll shout an answer to you, uh, okay. which our, our guests occasionally find helpful. Okay. <laughs> mm. Yes. All right. So your first question, honeysuckle, how big? Can a honeysuckle vine grow over or under? So you're, it's an over and under question. Okay. 60 feet. Over or under 60 feet? That's 50-50 uh, on that one. I'm going to say over. You got it. That is correct. Honeysuckle <laughs> vines can grow up to 80 feet. Feet. That is a large, large plant. That's a large vine. <laughs> All right. Here comes your second. Uh, so a long time ago, they say in the, I guess in the Victorian era, people would put honeysuckle under their pillow. Uh, the question is, why would they do that? Here are three possible answers. A, uh, so that the honey fairy would come and they would wake up and find a jar of honey next to their pillow in the morning. Uh, B, to uh, have pleasant dreams, just to have some nice sweet dreams, or C, uh, to keep away bed bugs. Well, personally, I do it for all three of those reasons. Um, <laughs> I, I yeah. love when the honey fairy comes to our house. <laughs> and it's like sprinkles honey, honey on your the face. The honey fairy came again. <laughs> um, so I would say, why wouldn't you do it? But uh, based on those three questions, I would think it's so that you have sweet dreams. Two for two, sir. <laughs> That's usually a honey suckler. Man, crushing it. <laughs> All right. So the, we told you that some of these questions would be specifically about the Japanese honeysuckle. Oh, the Japanese honeysuckle. I know it well. <laughs> which was brought to the United States. So the question is kind of like an over-under. This is a before or after question. So... Did the Japanese honeysuckle arrive in the United States before or after the year 1800? Can I, can I use my lifeline here? Oh, you certainly can. Okay. So I'm going to go into the bathroom and shout it from there. Okay. okay. <laughs> it was after. After 1800. I think I heard him. <laughs> so you got an answer? I do, and it was not my original choice. Uh, but I think 
based on all the knowledge I've collected, uh, that it was after 1800. You got it. Good job. Yes, in 1806, the Japanese honeysuckle arrived in the United States. Okay. All right, last question. The Japanese honeysuckle is occasionally referred to as a black widow. The question is why? They got three possible answers here. Uh, number one, is it because Japanese honeysuckle is an invasive species that seems to be problematic for forests and uh, plants in the woods? Uh, is it B, because the leaves are poisonous? Or is it C, because there's a red hourglass on the bottom of the flower? You just gotta look on the bottom of the flower. Could it be D, it makes a cameo in the Avengers series? <laughs> Oh um, no, it's honeysuckle. <laughs> I wish I would have saved my uh, phone a friend here. Um, I'm going to go with C. Is there a hourglass on the underneath of the leaf? Final answer? Sure. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but you know what? You got three out of four, so you're a winner. The correct answer was because it's an invasive species that can take over areas, much like kudzu. Nothing like kudzu. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we're all winners today because we all learned something. <laughs> we all know that knowing is half the battle. And this knowledge is going to carry us places we never envisioned. <laughs> well, and if you travel on a 60-foot plus honeysuckle vine, you can get pretty far in that quest for knowledge. <laughs> sure. true. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for playing. Thank you for having me. It was great fun. And we'll say goodbye to everybody at home. Bye, See guys. Next time. Miss you. Yep. Yeah, definitely. All right, bye.